What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. Today we're going to talk about whether iOS 15 is a good version for jailbreak purposes and whether it's going to end jailbreaking altogether. So if you're planning to upgrade to iOS 15 or you're just curious on what version to be on for the next jailbreak, I'm going to cover that in this video. This video is brought to you by Mobile Trans, a software that allows you to transfer WhatsApp conversations, to transfer all data from your device including contacts, photos and so on, and also to create and restore backups. You can check it out in the link below it's available on Wondershare's website and there is a free trial available for you to get. Check it out below. So as you probably know, iOS 15 comes with quite some features. Now many of you told me that iOS 15 is rather empty of features compared to iOS 14, which is true, but it does have a lot of features to upgrade for, including some revamped FaceTime features, but most importantly, better notifications, as you can see from here with bigger icons and so on, and of course, better privacy. So it's not a surprise that many people want this new operating system and of course it's already available right now in beta. So should you try out the new great iOS 15 or should you wait on 14.6 or 14.5 or 14.4 for the next uncovered jailbreak or Taurine or even check range? Because yes, even older devices are supported by iOS 15. But for the rest of you who have newer devices, should you wait for the uncover or should you update to iOS 15? The answer is wait. And there is a good reason for that. Now, iOS 15 beta doesn't come with some major changes that will ruin completely the jailbreaking for everybody. Nope, it's not the case. No new or serious mitigations right now that would prevent jailbreaking, at least not from the beta one. However, if you want to jailbreak, your best bet would be to stay even lower than iOS 14.6, let alone 15. Now, the iOS 15 beta currently is not supported even by CheckRain, which as you probably know, cannot be patched, which means that eventually this will be supported by the CheckRain. However, right now it's not, and there is a good reason for that. It's a brand new kernel, a brand new iOS version, probably a lot of changes to the offsets, probably a lot of changes to various functions in the kernel. So even CheckRain requires some extensive updates before it can work with that. Now you can be absolutely sure that Uncover and Taurin will indeed require a lot of work and a lot of exploits before they would work on iOS 15. So if you update right now to iOS 15 and in a week or so you realize it has a lot of bugs because this is, by the way, a beta for developers and you want to go back, you will be able to go back but the 14.6, which of course is currently signed. 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.4, 14.4.2, the versions that are good for jailbreak purposes are no longer signed. So if you jump the gun and go to iOS 15 just to try it, you will not be able to go back to a version that would be jailbreakable in the near future. You would go to 14.6, which patches all these vulnerabilities in here, many of which can be used for jailbreak purposes, including the kernel ones which we have in here. So as you can see, there are a lot of kernel vulnerabilities which you're going to miss, including one by Ian Beer, which says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, which can be usable for a jailbreak. And aside from that, there are multiple other vulnerabilities, including WebKit ones which may be usable you know for a Safari based jailbreak and we already have a released one that would work for iOS 14.62 so I would definitely not recommend you to get the iOS 15 preview or the beta because it's not good for jailbreak purposes not even check range supports it at the moment and you will definitely add to your waiting period for a jailbreak yet another few months because iOS 14.6 will likely not get a jailbreak before 14.5 so if you want to downgrade from iOS 15 you're only option would be the 14.6, which will be very bad for jailbreak purposes. So my recommendation right now, the best iOS versions to stay on is below 14.6. Even if you updated the 14.6, you're already on the red. You're already on a bad iOS version for the moment. Now, given a few months, it will be okay, but right now the best versions to be on if you want a fast jailbreak would be 14.4, 14.4.1, 14.4.2, the iOS 14.5 and of course the 14.5.1, but not 14.6 and not 15 beta. Now from the people who tried the 15 beta and from my own experience, I have also tried it, it's actually quite buggy. It does have a lot of great features, it does have what they advertise, but most of those features are actually basically half-baked, they barely work, it's basically beta 1 after all. So if you install this especially on your main device, you will find yourself downgrading very very fast. And what you're going to downgrade to? 
that's going to be 14.6, which will not be jailbreakable for at least a couple of months. So the answer is no, iOS 15 is not a good version for the jailbreak purposes, especially since if you update to it, it traps you so that you cannot go back to anything useful, you go to 14.6. Now that's pretty much it, do not jump the gun, do not update, I know links are available, profiles are available and stuff like that, I know it's very easy to get a beta, even if you don't have a registered developer account, but I would not recommend you to do that for jailbreak purposes. Speaking of jailbreak purposes, if you are jailbroken with Checkrain Uncover or Torin and you want some great tweaks to try, you can definitely check out my post here on iDevice Central, link will be below, with top 10 best tweaks to get for your jailbroken device, and of course you can check out my reviews in here, and even download them directly on your device by going to the repo, the links are available for every single tweak. I also have other articles about this on my website here on iDevice Central, including some other tweaks that you can definitely try, this one in here for example, allows allows you to get the iOS 15 notifications, as you can see from here with the big icon, right on your jailbroken device, and that tweak is called Velvet. Check it out here on the article. So yeah, that's basically it, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.